Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. Today I am going to be making hot baked apple pie. It's a fragrance oil from Aroma and it has notes of juicy apples with brown sugar and cinnamon. It does have 0.15% vanillin, which for a you know really sweet fruity fragrance that's not bad at all. So I am actually going to be making this in a base of green with a little bit of gold through it and I'm going to be using the apple pieces that we made in the behind the scenes video this week. I am soaping at room temperature. We are sitting at about 27 degrees. It is beautiful weather at the moment. Our day has actually only been about 27. So my soaps are actually behaving really well at the moment. So let's get this one started. I'm going to pour my lye water solution into my bucket here, and then I'm going to mix it to emulsion before splitting it out for the colors for this soap. So for my colours today, I have some Jade Mica, which I'm going to use as my main colour for the base. So I'm going to put that one in there. My next colour, I'm going to use a slightly darker green, because I always associate apple pies as being green apples. So I thought we'll make this one a green soap. I'm going to put, this one is Melon Fizzer. Now these may go a really weird shade, but they always do come back to that really nice shade of green. In my other little bucket here I am going to put in some opulence mica because it is quite a caramel sort of looking gold and then also into there I am going to put in a little bit of extravagance mica. This gold mica from my micro obsession it's a thicker particle of mica than some of the others. It's a synthetic mica and it does leave that little bit of shine behind in the soap. The other bucket that you saw me actually pour off, that is for if you've watched my last video on making the caramel vanilla slices, that is the extra icing to go on the slices because I was short. Um, I'm going to now mix these colours in and then I'm going to come back and hand stir in the fragrance and then we'll get to pouring into the mould. Right, I'm going to give that a really good stir first of all just to make sure that that mica is all well and truly incorporated. I'm just going to leave the gold off to one side for a moment and work with these two greens. The first thing I'm going to do is an in the pot swirl with my greens and then I am going to do a drop swirl with that gold. So wish me luck and hope this fragrance oil doesn't behave badly. So we'll get that one mixed in nicely. We'll also pour it into this darker green as well. And we'll get that one mixed in. I think I've got a little bit too much left there for the gold. And that should be enough for the gold in there. It smells really strong. I'm not going to say it smells amazing or really, really good. Um, I'm quite truthful when it comes to fragrance oils. If I don't like something and a customer is raving to me about it, I just smile. <laughs> so I can't say a fragrance oil is really nice if I don't like it. At first, I thought this fragrance oil was nice. I have this thing about cinnamon. I don't like the smell of it in fragrances. Like I don't like the smell of um, vanilla in fragrances. I hate the smell of cinnamon. It really makes me feel quite ill to be using it. And at first I didn't really smell all the cinnamon that is actually in this, um, in this fragrance. And it wasn't until I actually poured it out of the bottle it hit me. It is really strong and if that sort of cinnamon and apple thing is your sort of cup of tea with fragrance, I am sure you will love this fragrance oil. It's just not for me. Now I haven't poured all of that gold in here because I'm going to pour about half of my bucket and then I am going to drop swirl some more 
of that dark green in just to make sure that we're getting green all the way to the top of the mold. All right, I'm going to keep pouring this in here. I'm going to have too much left, I think, at the end. I'm going to kind of stay there because I want some gold. I have over measured um, how much I was thinking I was going to need. I'm not going to want too much gold in here. I'm just going to pour the rest of my fragrance in like so. I'll get that bit of soap off me. I'm going to mix that in. Now I need to save some of this gold to make my topping to go on this. So I'm not going to pour all of this into the mold. Just a little bit. Just to give that kind of hint that the pastry is there with this hot apple pie. So I'll stir that in. So I just decided to run the hanger through it because I thought I don't really want really heavy drop swells in there. So I really have only done that to very, very minimal. I'm just going to finish getting this out and make my top nice and flat for the next stage. All right, so I've just finished piping up the... Um, the leftover caramel vanilla cakes from last week's and what was left over in that batter I have just squeezed into this gold just to make sure that I do have plenty of piping here for the top of this soap and it also just lightens it up because that gold was probably a little bit too dark for a pie crust which is what we're going to pipe onto the top of this one so I'm just going to let this set up for a little bit and then we'll start doing the top so just while I am waiting for that piping to set up, I'm going to start putting my apple pieces in before we actually pipe the crust on the top. So these are the apples that we made in the behind the scenes video. I will leave a link to that video for you. Um, and I made them using some soap dough. And I'm just going to randomly squish them into the top of the soap here so that when we put the icing or the... Um, the pastry on the top it will look like we have an apple pie with lots of pieces of apple now something I have had a couple of people say when I've said I'll leave links um, to certain things um, they can't actually find where the links are there's a couple of different places that you may find links um, one of them when you're looking for things to do with the equipment and my supplies and stuff I leave links in the bottom of all of my videos along from now on with my soap recipe which you are welcome to use. Um, other places links may appear is at the end of these videos. If you carry on right through to the very end screen I will often link other videos um, onto the end there so you can always click through. And the other place you can find links because you can only get so many things onto that on screen or that end screen is up in the top right hand corner of the video. If you actually hover over it with your mouse you will sometimes see a little eye appear. And this isn't just on mine, it can be on any number of channels that do their videos and it is a information card and on that information card is where we can put other links to videos so occasionally if I want a video to always be there so like I really want this video for making my apples to be there I'll actually attach it there as part of the information card so that is some of the places you can go to to find when I say that I leave links to places all right, so we'll just get this last little apple in here, like so. And then what I've got in my little sprayer bottle here, I have some bronze sparks mica, and I'm just going to give it a very quick spritz over the top now. And that's hopefully going to look like a little bit of cinnamon, which will appear underneath the piping. But I will also put some on top of the piping afterwards. So I'm just going to go and get my piping bag ready, and then we'll be back to do the top. 
Right, so the piping is now ready. The tip I've got in here is actually from a Lakelands set of piping tips, but what it is is a one of the basket weave style ones, and this is just a small one. So the base of the tip here is nice and flat, and then on this side there's lots of little teeth on it. What I'm going to do is turn this so I can access it a little bit better. I might zoom you in so you can have a better look. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work on angles rather than straight up and down because I think it might just look a little bit better at the end. And what I'm going to do is just pipe myself some lines. I was trying to work out how to do like over unders and all that sort of thing but the only way I could really do over and under you were really going to miss seeing the apples underneath all the piping work so I thought there's no point doing all that work just to hide the apples under a lattice piping so all I'm going to do is do a really open weave so I'm just going to go backwards and forwards so who here is a fan of the good old apple pie I'm actually not I've had this really weird thing since I was a child that I do not like cooked fruit and I also do not like vegetables in desserts so I don't like things like carrot cake and zucchini cake and things like that but I've always been a bit funny when it comes to cooked fruit and the only time I'll eat cooked apples and actually enjoy them is in an apple sauce um, with a nice piece of roast pork. So I'm not a fan of the good old apple pie. I am getting slightly better at it. Um, I will eat um, the odd crumble, but it has to be a really good crumble if I'm going to eat fruit that's been cooked. Um, I know it's just really, really odd. Who else here is like me? You just don't like cooked, cooked fruit, or am I the only person like that? As a final touch to this one I am going to give it another spritz with this um, bronze sparks mica just to try and get that sort of cinnamon look onto the top I am coming in quite close in patches to get that kind of big spurt of mica just to look like there's some big clumps of cinnamon okay I am really pleased with that one I am going to bring you down for a closer look of our hot apple pie so this is hot apple pie up close. I am really pleased with how it is looking. That bronze sparks really does look like there has been a good dusting of cinnamon over the top. And I am going to let this one sit overnight and I'll come back in the morning and we'll cut it open to see what we've got. And now we are going to cut open into apple pie. It is looking really nice. Now when I turned the camera off yesterday, I decided to sprinkle just a few Epsom salts over the top. They were uncolored, just to look like some sugar had been sprinkled onto the top of our little hot baked apple pie here. What I'm going to do is put it onto its side because I did put those salts on the top. I'm also gonna cut this so that I end up with some sample pieces off either end here. And we're going to push that back and I'm going to cut through now the fragrance has held well it's mellowed out just a little bit but it's enough so that it is not a super strong fragrance anymore and I think it will be suitable for most people so let's get all the way cut through here and we'll see what swirls we've got on the inside here so almost through and there it goes Alright, so we'll start by grabbing this end piece here and wow, I really like how that's come together. The two different tones of green in there, all nicely swirled and then just those few little drop swirls of that goldy bronze colour to look like pastry. And I'm not sure if the camera will really pick it up, but those colours that I used for the... Um, for the golden color they do shimmer and shine and that's just the type of mica that it is you can see across the top here we have our little pieces of apple on either side and then our really nice pastry crust with the little cinnamon and sugar pieces as well i'm really really happy with how that has swirled together 
I am also now actually really liking the smell of this now that it has saponified. That real cinnamon hit that I was getting from it from out of the bottle and as I was making it has actually toned down. So if you're not a fan of cinnamon like me, you may actually really like this fragrance oil once it sets up in the soap. And I love how the top of those have got that real sprinkle of little sugar pieces on that one. So I'm really, really pleased with how this one has come together and I am very impressed, I'm just having a bit of a look there, it doesn't appear to, that I have any glycerin rivers, so that's a bit of a first for me. Um, so we'll grab this piece here and see if that's the same. Yeah, so we don't really have any glycerin rivers through this one, just that real gentle swirl and then those little bits of golden colour too. So I'm going to go and finish cutting this one, tidying it up, and then I'll pop it onto the curing rack and it should be ready for that first week of April. I hope you have enjoyed watching me make my hot baked apple pie. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you do have any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you are new around here, why not subscribe to the channel? I do bring out weekly videos and where I can, I do bring out some midweek behind the scene videos as well. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and has been supporting me along my journey here. I really do appreciate you all. And until the next video, I hope you have a great week. I'll see you then. Bye.